We're trying to open a restaurant, trying to get back into the barbecue side of it. We've looked at so many, called so many people. They're either gone or they don't reply already. I mean, I, I don't know what's going on. We, they, we rented a list last week and they just brought the deposit today. I mean, that's what we've been getting. But here, we found one. We contacted them yesterday. And I don't know how I feel about it. What we do is we talk to everybody because we want to know when we go into negotiations, wherever we're going to, we can compare the, the price per square foot and location and their traffic count and all that stuff and come up with a, a good proposal from our end. But here's the building. Used to be a Mexican restaurant and a beauty salon, which is really weird. But I think that uh, we can make this worse. It's a standalone building, which is great right off of um, Walnut Avenue, less than, less than an eighth of a mile. We're just right here. So hopefully, we're supposed to be in here at 9.30, it's almost 9.30 now. So hopefully we can get in here and take a look at it and figure out what we're gonna do. And I don't know if they'll, uh, I'm not sure if they'll let me record inside while they're there or not, I don't know. But if not, we'll get back with you after we walk through it. The building was, great and the people were even better people were really fantastic people um just down to earth good people i would uh, for being landlords i would love for them to be our landlord but we, we haven't decided on the space yet there's still some issues not issues there's still some planning to do to figure out if that's the right space for us or not money wise money's all there luckily this is fair they got a very fair price um they're willing to work with us on whatever we need and do the things on their part to make it ready for us. Dummy, so that, dummy, dummy. there's arrow. <clears throat> so that's helpful. Um, and that's gonna save some money for us. Uh, so what we're trying to do is we decided to do a little, um, I guess a web series, kind of, sort of, uh, of us finding a restaurant, opening a restaurant. And we decided the amount we were gonna do it with was $10,000. I don't know if we can do it for that or not. If we have to go over, you know, we, we can and we will. But I really like to do this for ten grand to show people that the starter restaurant doesn't cost the hundred, two hundred, up to five hundred thousand dollars that people think. We've started two restaurants already, and the first one we did for gosh, it was less than five thousand dollars. I don't remember the exact number, but I know it was less than five thousand. And that's for a barbecue restaurant. Now we don't do any fry foods. We don't do French fries, we don't do like uh corn fritters, we don't do anything like that because we like everything to be made fresh and to be made on the smoker. So there's nothing in our restaurants ever, and never will be in this one either, that is prepackaged, that we buy from the food company and we throw into the freezer or the refrigerator. That, that, that part doesn't happen, we don't do that. Everything we make is fresh. When we do our slaw, we're hand chopping the cabbage, and the, I mean, we do it all, and that's what, we, we take pride in our food, and that's what makes it really good. Or, in my opinion, makes it really good. But the space was almost perfect. The parking places, the parking lot was, was almost perfect. The backyard for it, or the back area for it, is... It, 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 I'd say it is perfect for a smoker. Like, it, it's just built for it. It's, everything is laid out. And... Hey, there's Stacy. <laughs> the camera went off. Uh oh We the, can't the, see the ourselves. Screen, oh, the screen no. went off. There it is. There it is. <clears throat> So I went in and talked to him first, and she went in with me at the end, and she even liked it. Don't and don't she don't like anything. Don't I don't like anything. <laughs> Errol wanted to Errol see herself on it camera. Too. She ran around all over the place, and she has ice and on her nose. Now, there's a lot <laughs> cosmetically we have to do on the inside, mm -hmm. and there, there's a fair amount of work uh, on the construction side of it, too, we have to do, but nothing too major. I think, honestly... To get it ready to open, I think we can do that part for about eight grand. Um, as we're there and as we're open and operating, I think overall it's probably going to cost us closer to fifteen to twenty thousand dollars to get it one hundred percent to where we want. But to open, I think eight grand does it on the uh, remodeling side of it. Sounds good. She don't care. She just wants to eat the food. I really just want to eat the food. But we'll keep you posted on it. We don't know. Anything else about it yet? Yeah, like we, 
they, they're leaving it to us. Oh, sit down, baby. To come up with a proposal. So we're going to um, go talk to the uh, health inspector in Whitfield County tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Did you want to see Arrow? <laughs> We're going to talk to the health inspector tomorrow in Whitfield County, and then we're going to put together our proposal. Um, and it needs to be fair. It needs to be fair for both sides. We're not trying to rip anybody off on rent. Like, they're there to make money. Like, we're going to be renting to make money. Mm -hmm. So we, we do believe it's got to be fair for both people, both parties. Both people. Both people. More than one people. <laughs> <laughs> More than two people. But we got, it's got to be fair for working. Yes, Mommy. <laughs> See ya. Do you see yourself? Do you? <laughs> it's got to be fair. That's all I'm trying to say. If it, it, it'll let me. Yes, it does have to be fair. And I think it will be. Like, they're, they're willing to do a lot. Uh, what did it go off? Uh-oh. <laughs> the screen went off again. The screen, the screen just went off, baby. It's still recording. Here, let's get it back on. There we go. Is that better? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so we're going to keep you posted on it. Um... We'll have another it's video coming out about it when we find something else about it. I don't, I don't, hold on, baby. I don't know. Like come with me. Yeah. I don't know uh, <laughs> when. You know, like I said, we got to get with the health inspector first, and then we got to put our, our proposal together. So it's going to take a little bit, but we'll get it figured out. And as soon as we know something, we're going to come back at you guys with another video about the barbecue restaurant. And that's what we do, and that's what we like. And I'm so glad. I'm extremely happy to be back into the barbecue because that is, that's my passion. That's what I love doing. And I, I, I do believe it's pretty good. So stay tuned.